Mm. Key point, 5.41 p.m., May 23rd. So like I've been saying for years now, the April 13th backup of my Apple backup. Been reporting to law enforcement for a long time. I actually even went to the FBI building in 2017 to tell them about something weird because I kept getting hacked and this kid, Adam Brian Corona's name, I went to college with his name, kept showing up on my phone. I was at the uh, Apple Galleria in April 13th of 2017. That's linked to this. But supposedly I'm a victim of some backup and these people are using their control of information hustles and disinformation hustles and leaving me out of communications specifically to cover up key stuff. And then there's this community of terrorists pretending to be the victim of what I'm a victim of who are probably a terrorist who did this to me, theory. Um, but um, there are these weird pictures. And I've been reporting to law enforcement, it's even in my second DOJ letter and in previous letters about this uh, bucket of money. And supposedly that may make money or make people look rich or something weird. Because there was one time in 2017 or late or early 2018 when I was messing with this backup trying to figure out what these uh, pictures were. Because I even showed them to a computer expert and he said it was cache or something or cash or something. But um, uh, I was using it and like making copies of this money and then seeing what would happen and making copies of other pictures. And then one day when I was doing that, some one of these telepathy people said, wow, how does he have so much money? Didn't know what the fuck they were talking about, but I, I felt there was something. Later, I found out it supposedly makes you look rich or something. But the vibe I'm getting is it makes you look rich in whatever this game is or gambling ring or wherever they are. And these kids are taking that money and gambling with it illegally and pretending to be rich. And supposedly people in New York already got caught gambling with this fake money. And that's why a lot of them are in debt. But another piece of this is that may be part of their long-term frame. And whenever I bring this up to these investigators or other people, or whenever like a politician or law enforcement agent would ask them about this uh, backup and this bucket of money and this and that, which is in my first DOJ letter and my second one, and this Apple backup jazz, they would lie and say, oh, he's psychotic or it does nothing. And they kept trying to cover it up, but it actually, I think it may be doing something. I'm not sure. But they have this thing, and I always also overhear these people say, do some backup. So there's a few uh, components of this backup. Maybe it resets this movie, but then resets this bet, and then they like takes them to an earlier date, and maybe it resets these bets so they get more money when they're winning or something. So they got some hustle like that. But they do this backup to do that, and then there's the barrel of money thing too. But what I just overheard when I was making a bowel movement is, um, you know, uh, when I was making a bowel movement is, um, uh, they were saying something about some of these kids taking this backup and they go to Dubai and they're still using what they call the old game. I guess it works in that. And that may be their hustle. So they go to Dubai and do the backup, look rich, and then gamble with fake money and then steal real money and then maybe come back to Houston or something. They're doing some hustle like that. So that may be their tactic. Uh, so be wary for that. But I've been reporting this to law enforcement for years. So I don't know why it's being ignored, but that may be, that's a piece of their financial crimes uh, hustle. And then... Um, uh, yeah, I've been reporting it to my second DOJ letter. And then um, uh, it was also in my first one. And then I actually went to the FBI about it in 2017. Just didn't even know about that part yet because I didn't look through all this jazz. And even in 2018 when they're like, wow, how does he have so much money? He didn't know what the fuck they're talking about. But over six years and six months of talking to these telepathy people, I put it together. And I was reporting it. So check uh, earlier letters to law enforcement, FBI, CIA, whoever. I was sending this information to all sorts of people. But this is a key point, so look for those guys, these guys pretending to be rich and running around with this backup money that's not real. Those are key people involved with terrorist financing, and those are key people involved with this um, uh, financial crime syndicate and involved with um, RICO and um, robbery, basically. They're using fake money, gambling with fake money, and then um, manipulating bets, and then using the fake money to like bet big against someone, manipulating the bet, and then robbing them. So that's a piece of it. There's also more right now. They're shocking my brain into using their witness tampering tech because there's some other key stuff I'm trying to put together, but they're trying to, um, uh, they're using the witness tampering tech right now to dis disrupt my mind. But that's a key point. And the key, a key piece of this is the way you know these investigators have zero credibility, their whole community. They always don't mention this backup thing. They don't mention this bit swipe thing. They always cover up the bucket of money thing. And when law enforcement and politicians ask him about it, they'd say he was psychotic or it's nothing or this and that. And that's been going on for years too. So that's a key point. They're always trying to cover that up. I guess it's part of their hustle. But um, uh, yeah, that's a key point. And no, I never had a hustler. I was never a hustler, so don't fall for bullshit. I've always been the victim. I've never seen this game. I've never seen where it translates. But someone, when I was making a bowel movement, said some of these kids go to Dubai to do that. So be wary. Uh, 
but that's a key point. And right now they're using a witness tampering tech. But if I think of anything else related to this, that's key. That's key. Praise Jesus. And they may even be trying to orchestrate a long-term frame around that. And that's another reason they keep leaving this part out and leaving out that I've been reporting it for years. So don't fall for it. Praise Jesus. Man.